Here's another problem about linear approximations. Suppose we want to know what's an approximation for ln of 0.97. We want to see how calculus can uh, inform our ideas about that. Of course, the point is not really so much to get this number. That's something we can get out of our calculator. The pr point is to use this as a jumping off place for really getting a, ver a better understanding of what derivatives tell us, and in particular, how to interpret them as a mechanism for doing linear approximations. And we're going to do more interesting examples later, but this is a good place to start. So we want to get the idea again. I showed you the idea in class, but here's y equals ln x. And what we're going to do is we're going to recognize that 0.97 is really close to 1. And even though it's hard to get ln 0.97 directly, we're going to look, we're going to set a equals 1. And a is going to be our name for a simple base point, kind of a home, easy home base to look at. And x is 0.97. That's approximately equal to 1. So x is close to a. And so that's the thing you want to look for in these kinds of problems. Sometimes they actually tell you, here's the value, use a equals 1 or whatever. But if they don't give it to you, you want to look at, given my complicated number, x, here 0.97, what's a simple number near that? And very important is going to be the delta x, which is just a shorthand for x minus a. And very, very important is that that's going to be negative. We have to be careful about that. That's a very common source of error. It's not to pay attention to that. So we're going to look at a equals 1 here, which is simple because it's easy to calculate the ln of that. And we're looking for a number at a number that's just a little bit to the left of that. I'm going to exaggerate. Here's x. It's not really that far. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the tangent line and instead of trying to really nail down the exact value of the function, we're going to tr try to get the, the tangent line value of that guy. OK. So that's what we're trying to do. And so first, we want to calculate the equation of that tangent line. So our ingredients for almost any problem like this are our function, f, our base point, which we often have to choose, but sometimes they give it to us. So that's here, it's a equals 1. And here, f of x is ln x. And our actual value of interest, so the base point, you could say that's also the simple value of x. Here's the complicated value of x. That's 0 0.97. Those are the ingredients. And we always do the same kind of thing. We've find the linearization, which is just thinking of the, uh, the equation of the tangent line as a function. And that's going to always be f of a plus f prime of a x minus a. That's the one line shortcut to getting the equation of a tangent line that sort of summarizes the answer for the three-step process that we've always been doing to get the equation of the tangent line. So wh what do we need to do to, to use these ingredients? We need to get this value and this value. So f of a here is ln of 1, which is 0. And f prime, we don't just directly leap to f prime of a, because we need f prime of x first. f prime of x is the derivative of ln x. That's 1 over x. OK, so that's nice. And in fact, it's crucial that that also be a simple number. The two simple things, the things that make a a valid, decent base point for this process, is that the function value, that's this key number that goes into the linearization, and the derivative, the slope, that that's the other key number that goes in there. Those have got to be simple to calculate, or else there's no point in doing this. So now I can plug those in. a is 1. This is 0. This is 1. I've got about as simple as it gets. So that's the linearized version. That is exactly the equation for this red line, the tangent line. And then we just stick in our, our x value that we really care about into that function, and we'll get an approximate version of 
I'll save paper, put it over here. So L of our approximate value, that goes in here, equals 0.97 minus 1, minus 0.03. That happens to be exactly the delta x value here. Let me go back and just rephrase this in a slightly different way, because that can be helpful. In general, L of x is f of a plus f prime of a times delta x. Okay, That can often be a better thing, because the delta x is a key quantity, and it's really important that that be small. This is not going to give us a good answer if delta x is big. If I go really far away from this base point, say to the right maybe, where the tangent line is really, really far from the function, or way to the left, where the tangent line is really far from the function, I'm going to get a really crappy approximation. But as long as I stay with delta x small, it's going to be okay. So the alternate way to do it, just slightly different in terms of the algebra, but it is a little bit different in terms of the, the idea. Here, L of x happened to be exactly delta x. And so L, when x is 0.97, we already calculated that delta x, how far you have to go from your base point to the point of interest, was minus 0.03. So in this case, it happens to be just that number again, is our approximation for the log of 0.97. Okay, hopefully that's good, combined with what's in class to get you to do the homework.